Hey everyone, it's Tara here. I am picking some basil today. I'm gonna make some pesto and I just wanted to share with you guys how I do that. basil here that I picked this morning. I washed it and just set it aside to, to dry a little bit. And I've just got about this much. This bowl is full here. Um, and like I mentioned before, we are going to make some pesto today. So you can use whatever you want, like a food processor or whatever you choose, whatever you have. Uh, but today I'm going to use our Nutri Ninja, the same thing that we make our shakes with. It works just fine. Um, so basically, I don't really have a recipe per se. Uh, my mother in law is the one that taught me how to do this. But um, basically, the first thing you're going to do, you're just going to stuff this. So the next thing that I do is I've just got regular olive oil, not extra virgin, um, just regular. And I'm going to put about two tablespoons in there to start off with. Um, you can put however much you want. Um, I like to keep it on the lighter side just so I'm not adding a ton of fat to whatever I'm cooking. Um, you can always add more olive oil to whatever you're cooking. Um, and there's nothing to say that if you want more in this, you can put it. It's not going to hurt anything. It's your choice. Um, you can put a couple of cloves of garlic or however much you want. I don't have any cloves, but I do have this minced garlic here. So I'm going to add some of this probably the equivalent to about three cloves. And then I am gonna add some salt and a little bit of pepper. And then let's put this on here, our blade. And then just let this go to work. So I am going to add about another tablespoon of oil in there. this up as fine as you want um, or leave it as leafy as you want. Um, this one, I'm going to leave it just a tad bit leafy. Um, I'm going to put it in my spaghetti sauce. I never thought about doing that until my mother-in-law mentioned that that's what she did. And of course, her spaghetti sauce is the bomb.com. <laughs> so I'm going to try that. Um, Nathan and I really like kind of bigger chunks of basil in our food anyways and so that's just kind of preference for whatever you want but um i did want to show you one thing if i was not going to use this tonight um there's these little jars that i buy and i buy them from walmart they come um just like this and they have a plastic lid and you just throw them in the freezer and they're great. Um, I have several jars left over from last year that I put up and they have kept super good. Um, and all you do is just thaw them out and throw them in whatever you wanna make. Those of you that have some basil plants or even go out and buy some fresh basil, I hope you make some of this and try it on your food. It's way, 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 way more flavorful than the stuff that you can buy on the shelf at the store. 
Anyways, uh, have a great day, everyone.